Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So y'all, today's video we're talking coffee. If you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know I love me some coffee. I love coffee. Some may say it's an addiction. We ain't gonna go there in this video. Ain't It ain't time to diagnose nobody around here. But y'all, I love, love, love coffee. And I think the folks over at Javi know how much I love coffee. They probably was fine on my page because y'all, they messed around and sent me some of their coffee to try, y'all. Now you're probably like, what is this? Y'all, this is a coffee concentrate. I'll be honest, I've never heard of coffee concentrate. I never knew that something like this existed. But upon doing some research, I found that it is just as the name suggests, basically. This is a concentrated coffee. You can make tons of different drinks out of this one seemingly small bottle. Now, on their bottle, they advertise that you can get 30 servings of coffee from this one bottle. Now, obviously, it is dependent on the amount of coffee that you use per cup or, you know, per serving of a beverage for yourself. What they recommend is to take one to two teaspoons of the microdose coffee and mix it with your favorite liquid in order to create perfect cup of coffee. Now, y'all, like I said, I went over to their website because one thing about me, one thing about me, I gotta know the details. That's the Virgo in me, y'all. One thing about me, I gotta know the details. So I did some research. I looked at the FAQs to learn about what the co coffee concentrate is. I looked at some of their other products. Not only do they have this original flavored coffee concentrate that they sent me, they also have some other flavors if you're interested. They have a French vanilla flavor, caramel. I believe I saw a pumpkin flavor on there. They also have, um, mocha flavors if that's something you like they even have decaf for those of y'all who has a, have a sensitivity to caffeine but still love the taste of coffee they have decaf on there now the bottles on their site the decaf being the lowest price it was $20.95 the other bottles were $24.95 if I'm not mistaken so at that price range say you get 20 to 30 cups of coffee because again remember I believe that 30 cups is dependent on, you know, the amount that you use per serving. So I'm going to say, let's say you get 20 to 30 cups of coffee. Even then, that's no more than $1.25 at the most that you're going to be paying, you know, per serving with getting this bottle. And that's still less than getting a cup of coffee from your local coffee shop. So y'all, before we get into more details, let's just go through this first recipe. So in this first recipe, I'm going to be doing a simple iced coffee. So this was the most simple recipe that I made. So what I used for this recipe was a caramel sauce, a creamer of my choice. I prefer hazelnut creamer. Obviously I used the Javi coffee concentrate. And then also I wanted to show y'all the little bag that the straws and cleaning utensil came in. So I got two straws. One is like a little curved straw, one is a straight straw, and again, a cleaning utensil. Thank you again Javi for this wonderful gift. So what I did, I lined my cup with the caramel sauce because why not I love 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 caramel and I like my cup to be lined with it I added my ice to the cup y'all seen that one piece of ice fly away <laughs> then I put two about two and a half tablespoons of the Javi coffee concentrate into my cup directly over the ice poured some water in the cup and then I added my coffee creamer and this is the pretty part. Look at that, y'all. So beautiful, right? After that, I stirred my cup around. I got to get better at my stirring, y'all, because that wasn't so cute. But I stirred my cup. I actually, actually drizzled a little more caramel on the top, because why not? <laughs> but then my drink was ready to drink. And I tried my drink. I was pleasantly surprised by it. Even my boyfriend tried it, and he's not even a coffee drinker, and he liked it. So this was a win. Recipe number two. So in this recipe, we're making the Delonga whipped coffee. So if you're familiar with Delonga coffee, you just need equal parts of sugar, boiling water, and um, instant coffee. What I used for this recipe was two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of 
Javi uh, coffee concentrate and one tablespoon of boiling water. I mix this all together, whisk it all together. After about five to seven minutes, this is what it looked like. And after about 10 to 12 minutes, this is what it looked like. And finally, maybe this was about 15 minutes later after I had froze it because y'all, this thing, it was taking forever to whisk. But I froze it a little bit and added a little bit more sugar and that's what it looked like. So in my cup, I put ice, drizzled a little bit of caramel, added some caramel syrup and a little more caramel syrup. <laughs> I used oat milk for this recipe. And then after the oat milk, I just layered my DeLonga coffee on top. Now I will say this came out a little sweeter than I personally like. So next time around, I would completely, completely skip the caramel additives. Now personally, I find oat milk to be a little on the sweeter side. So that's why I would say next time I would just skip out on the caramel um, because you really didn't need that and plus there's sugar already mixed into the the longer coffee itself but I tasted this drink well I wanted to show y'all my drink first of course but I tasted mix it around a little bit tasted this drink and this also tasted pretty good pretty good just again be careful about the amount of sugar that you use in this drink because a little goes a long way my friends And finally, for recipe number three, we're making a coffee-flavored cold foam. So, y'all, one of my favorite additions to get on my coffee drinks is cold foam, vanilla sweet cream cold foam to be exact. So, I tried making that from home. So, in my little electric whisker, I put half and half, whole milk, and added some vanilla syrup. I let my mixer spin, do its thing up in there. And after you know it was ready I added my Javi coffee concentrate now next time I would just put all the ingredients in at once because I felt like at the end after I had mixed it twice it was a little over mixed and a little too thick so what I would just advise you to do put it all in at once don't don't be like me but after that was done I lined my cup with caramel sauce added ice added a little bit of caramel syrup added my Javi coffee concentrate I think in this cup I used about two and a half tablespoons once again added some water mixed it up added a little bit of whole milk and then put my coffee cold foam on top and next time I will also add a little bit more of the coffee concentrate to the actual drink mixture because I wanted to taste more of that coffee flavor with all that milk and cream going on in the cup now stop if you're still drinking cold foam with a straw, we got a problem. You need to put your lips on the cup, ma'am. If you're anything like me and you just don't know what to try, you're not very experimental when it comes to coffee, you gonna get the same drink every time. Javi also has a dedicated recipe page on their site for you to try different recipes. And they have pages upon pages of recipes that you can try if you just don't know what to try. If you are interested in trying Javi, you can use my code EBONY15 to get 15% off of your purchase. Go ahead and get you a bottle of Javi coffee if you're interested in making some coffee at home, trying a coffee concentrate, trying something new with your coffees. I love of coffee so I want to share my love of coffee with y'all and if you do try Javi please let me know in the comments below I'm very curious to know if y'all like it as much as I do but I want to thank y'all for watching this video if you want to see more videos like this or more from me please do subscribe to my channel please like this video comment on this video do all that good stuff tell your mom tell your brother tell your sister tell your daddy tell everybody y'all I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that y'all have a good week good weekend whenever you're watching this video and until next time y'all Peace.